first time in history, Yad Vashem and Vatican scholars have come together to evaluate research on Pope Pius XII's role during World War II and the Holocaust. The two days of closed-door discussions between Jewish and Catholic experts finished on Monday afternoon at the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial in Jerusalem. Father Roberto Spataro, a Salesian historian who took part in the conference, offered a positive assessment at the end of the meeting. The objectives have been achieved. In the first place, the cooperation of historians of different opinion. During the opening remarks, the chairman of Yad Vashem, Avner Shalev, spoke about the need for this update, since the documentation is so abundant. At least a dozen books have been published in the six, seven years, and hundreds of articles on this issue. Some of them are serious, well documented, others not so serious, but... Archbishop Antonio Franco, nuncio to the Holy Land, welcomed the initiative and offered Yad Vashem the full collaboration of the Catholic world, since they share the same values. For the show, for the memory, to keep the memory and to learn from the memory, the Catholic Church, I think that is the best, the best partner, the best ally of Yad Vashem. Even though the topic was not on the agenda, this meeting constitutes the first step Yad Vashem has taken in two years when it agreed to reconsider the caption of Pope Pius XII, which many Catholics find offensive. It is evident that all that has been said has implications on the caption and on the different points of view. Now that the meeting has ended, Yad Vashem is looking forward to Benedict XVI's visit. He will not enter the museum itself, but will visit the memorial, as John Paul II did. For its part, the Catholic Church hopes to continue with the beatification of Pius XII without offending the Jews.